Well, there was a time when the preferred method of travel for most Canadians was by rail, and for those who traveled by train were more often than not served by black porters. And now there's a new book which sheds some light on their stories. CBC's Sanjay Maru spoke to the author at a book signing this afternoon. He joins me in studio. Sanjay, why did he want to write this book? Well, Arms, the book is called They Call Me George, The Untold Story of Black Train Porters and the Birth of Modern Canada. And as the name suggests, it chronicles the trials and tribulations of these porters. These are people who would spend long hours, sometimes getting three hours of sleep in a 24-hour journey, hauling luggage, folding down beds, shining shoes, and serving passengers. Now, it's a history not often explored in Canadian classrooms, overshadowed by that of the Underground Railroad, rather than the people who worked on those trains. And when I spoke to the book's author, Cecil Foster, he said the story of Canada tends to focus on English and French people, but that's not what it should be about. The Canadian story is really about how we get to be the multicultural country that we are and what kind of future we can imagine for all Canadians, regardless of where they have come from, what language they speak, their sexuality, or any of those things. Now, part of why these porters are so crucial to the birth of modern Canada, he says, is because of their influence on federal multicultural policy. The Immigration Act of 1910 allowed Canada to stop immigrants from coming in who were deemed, quote, unsuited to the climate or requirements of Canada. Now, that didn't sit well with these train porters. In 1954, a group of them went to Ottawa as part of the first delegation of black Canadians to meet with the cabinet minister at the time. And if you ask Foster, these porters are responsible for making Canada the, the, the diverse country it is today. Sanjay, did he speak to any former porters? Well, understandably, many of these train porters have since passed away, but there was one in attendance sitting at the back of the room. That was 91-year-old Hilliard Morris from North Buxton, just south of Chatham. He became train porter back in 1946 and says the color of their skin stopped many from being promoted, but not him. He was eventually promoted to the train's conductor. Take a listen as he recalls those days. Well, after I got that badge on, as sleeping car conductors, they sort of restricted me more than the porter. Do you miss working on the train? I did for a long while. I still dream about it a bit. Now, you may be wondering why the book is called They Call Me George. That was the name given to every train porter at the time. They were named that after train designer and manufacturer George Pullman. He was the man who hired these porters at a time when slaves were named after their owners. Arms. Thank you, Sanjay. Thank you.